I read it. Hi, everybody. Uh, we will speak today. We, we will start with, uh, with Web Store REST API. Uh, just a few words uh, about me. Uh, I graduated with a master's uh, degree in applied mathematics uh, 20 years ago. And recently, I, uh, I passed uh, an RPI certification. Uh, I, I've got uh, uh, I've got uh, 15 years of experience in mostly in uh, Java software development. I work uh, a lot with Python R and uh, JS uh, TypeScript. Okay, and now I'm uh, very interested uh, by big data deep learning uh, uh, for 30 years uh, with Guitar. So uh, uh, now uh, um, I'm currently create, uh, creating a company that named uh, uh, Integration Created. So uh, uh, that means I created. What is what is Web Store? Web Store. This is a old uh, original computer web application. Uh, everything started here for me. I started uh, the first application that I did uh, in my Java life. Uh, it was uh, uh, it was inspired by the, this uh, old uh, computer web application. I put uh, some uh, pros and cons. Uh, now the pros is uh, all, it's uh, always original. I like it a lot. <laughs> It's uh, straightforward because it's uh, really easy to to work with. Uh, it's really fast because uh, now uh, every framework is very, very big and complicated. And with uh, this one, it's uh, really it was really easy to to develop. But the cans is old-fashioned, cannot be easily reused. Uh, you have to work hard uh, to to change uh, something, and uh, it's not responsive, uh, responsive web design. Why to change it? But I would like uh, to divide uh, server side and uh, front end side, uh, not by uh, by model view controller, but uh, different frameworks. Uh, to have a free front end framework choice. Uh, we will uh, speak about later. Uh, to make uh, the best uh, application web design, because uh, every web designer prefer to work with uh, the technology he knows very well. Uh, not forget uh, responsive uh, web design. It's uh, it's clear. Uh, to do very fast uh, front-end application. Front-end, uh, we will speak about it. Uh, it's uh, I, I speak here. Um, uh, we have to work with uh, uh, GS uh, with JavaScript uh, to find easily fronted on trend developer on the market today uh, we can uh, find uh, uh, many many different front end developer uh, working with many many different frameworks but to develop quickly I, I will show you it's really quickly uh, but, uh, and uh, to make money because the project it will be uh, less expensive. Uh, I will uh, speak about uh, my story. Peras uh, peradastra through hardships uh, to the stars. Uh, the, the first uh, web store uh, was created with a, a model view controller JSPS of LED. Uh, and this time I, I used uh, a lot, uh, very, very good, <coughs> but very simple Brazilian framework, uh, Mentawai. It's uh, very, I like it a lot, uh, very simple. Uh, because I started with Compere, uh, I thought uh, it will be interesting to, uh, to use uh, something uh, that comes uh, from Jibos, uh, because Compere was a uh, uh, made uh, with the uh, Jibos, so uh, so I, I tried a lot uh, Jibos theme and weld framework, but uh, I injection everywhere. It's a very good experience. It was very interesting. Uh, 
but uh, but after this, uh, Adimpia uh, uh, has come uh, with uh, with uh, ZK, and uh, so uh, and this time I tried to work with uh, Google Web Toolkit because uh, the first uh, uh, web uh, UI uh, from Compia was made by Google Web Toolkit. So for me, it was interesting to try it too, uh, but it was uh, really complicated to develop. Uh, so ZK is, uh, was really the rest for me. I did uh, in a row four or five applications, not uh, like uh, I made, uh, but with uh, uh, model view, view model uh, controllers, it's uh, very easy. Entirely MVVM. After this, I tried a lot of Spring Framework. I like a lot. I continue to work with Spring. Uh, I don't like in Spring that when you have to put Spring to OSGI, you have to put uh, 20, 20 libraries. It's, uh, it's uh, many, many dependencies, very complicated to manage. Uh, so I, I use uh, really not a lot. But I, I, lo I, lo I, lo I, I love, really, I love th this framework. Uh, with uh, JSF faces, uh, I worked with uh, during 10 years. Uh, you, ha you have to know that JSF, is, there are two implementation, uh, some uh, implementation and my faces implementation. My faces is uh, really easy to put to AGI. Uh, uh, on the uh, client side, uh, front end side, uh, uh, there are many faces. Uh, uh, you can use uh, I, I tried uh, rich faces, cold face, ice faces, boots faces, uh, uh, prime faces, omni faces. Uh, really, uh, the right choice to to work. Uh, uh, my choice it was uh, prime faces. It's really a good uh, Turkish uh, framework from Ankara. It's uh, very nice. So I have come to to REST API. Uh, I propose to to put in OGI uh, uh, four modules. Uh, my uh, my approach is uh, based on uh, Jersey. Uh, there are three uh, good implementations. This is there are CXF, uh, REST Easy, and Jersey. Uh, my choice is Jersey because it's uh, we will see it's uh, really really nice to make the, some injection uh, uh, to from uh, IDMPA uh, then you can use in your application. Uh, Swagger, uh, Swagger, this is uh, a design REST uh, API according to specification. Uh, you can use it with a, a, in an interactive API development and, uh, and simply uh, use a really simple functional test. Uh, for security, I used uh, the library Java JWT. Uh, this is a token API, uh, very, very known. Uh, you can use it with many, many different uh, security protocols. Uh, you can use uh, with uh, private, public key, many, many things. And uh, my API, Web Store API. Uh, I will show you, I will continue with uh, Swagger. Uh, so for the, for the Web Store, I created this API. Uh, this is the, screen, the Swagger screen. Uh, based on uh, open uh, API uh, protocol. Uh, so I grouped uh, the services uh, by uh, by some groups: uh, account services, authentication services, catalog services, checkout services, e-commerce services. Uh, all these uh, endpoints uh, uh, you need to to make work in a web store application. It's uh, it's really nice to use. Uh, uh, when you are working with a front-end uh, developer, you don't need uh, to use uh, any documentation. Uh, for front-end uh, programmer, it's uh, very easy to use it. Uh, uh, because uh, just uh, from the server side, you have to, to make a annotation. For example, I will show you an example, for example, uh, countries. 
we can see we can uh, make a REST API call here execute and you have uh, all JSON of all, uh, of all countries it's sufficient to the front-end programmer to, to create uh, what uh, he needs. Uh, for the authentication, uh, I will show you, for example, uh, some, uh, some services we need uh, a JSON token to access. Uh, if, uh, if a front-end developer needed to test uh, something, uh, to make a functional test, uh, he can uh, log in here directly. Look, we have to, to put username and password, uh, so I can change it. We've got here the JSON token. And you can uh, take this JSON token. You can test it. <coughs> I'm got a user named uh, Sergey Polaros. So, so front-end programmer can, you can put many, many information in JSON token with payload and uh, this uh, program I can, uh, can uh, take it and use uh, on a front-end application. And if I, I have to check uh, uh, protected services, I can use, uh, I can put uh, the token here. And uh, for example, uh, I can uh, take uh, all my orders. Uh, I have uh, Jason's uh, description of uh, my orders that I tested, number, pure reference, description, the status, so on. Uh, also, front-end programmer need uh, to, to, to use your beans. In Java world, uh, uh, we call uh, beans, and uh, in front-end programming, uh, we call uh, models. You can, uh, you can get all models, for example, password, address. Interesting to see order. Order is made uh, by all information for order. And ship address, for example, ship address. ID, label, name, address, one, address, two, postal, city, phone, country, ID, country, name. You can uh, put, uh, for example, shipper, ID, name, description, uh, and uh, all the uh, information you need, for example, shipments, payments, invoices, taxes, uh, tax, <coughs> invoices. Okay. So, if I just quickly, you define your beans, and from your beans, the system auto-generated exactly. your, was it Swag that actually created the extraction? Mm, yes. Beans? And, uh, and these beans, uh, this is Java beans, but in JSON uh, format. A and uh, it's made by Zwagger. And that's what actually does the transformation? Yes, yes. It's really easy to work in a team uh, because uh, before I try to put that is all information in Excel, but it's very, very slow. And uh, when I start to use the uh, Swagger, <laughs> any documentation is finished. Each time I put something, front end program, I can see it. It's uh, too very interesting to, to manage exceptions. For example, uh, I, will, I will take one services where uh, I, I define an uh, exception from uh, Jersey API, for example. Uh, we can get uh, many exceptions. 
login and here. Here we have one exception. Description and exception uh, 401 unauthorized. And uh, I don't I can look up uh, maybe here. Look up in here. No. Uh, after we will return to, to it. Uh, I will continue uh, with uh, what can on uh, on front end side we can do. We can do many many things. I uh, I propose here uh, the foreground framework. Uh, this is the view framework on the right. Uh, React, uh, Angular, and JS. All these framework uh, are based on on JavaScript, uh, but Angular is uh, made uh, the last Angular made by TypeScript. And uh, really, for if you if you would like to try front-end programming for Java developer, it's more more easy to start with Angular. Angular is uh, I discussed a lot with front-end programmer. Uh, they say that uh, that uh, after JavaScript, it's too complicated to pass to Angular. But for Java programmer, it's easy to pass to Angular. So if you would like uh, TypeScript is. Uh, it's uh, the language created uh, by Microsoft. Uh, it's uh, the mix uh, between uh, C Sharp and Java. And it's uh, really easy to use it. There are many injections, uh, there are many things. Uh, but uh, front-end programmers uh, say that uh, the most easy approach is Vue uh, on the right and uh, React. Okay. So, uh, so you, you can choose what you want. <laughs> After this, you can uh, put uh, some components. Uh, you have uh, many, many library components, bootstrap, uh, material, uh, material, de material design, mat material design uh, prime ng, and uh, ionic, for example. Uh, you can mix all this framework, uh, Angular with bootstrap, material design with prime ng, ionic, React, and Vue. You can mix everything here. It's uh, uh, your choice. Uh, I put uh, Prime NG here because uh, it, it was, uh, it's, uh, I, I know it well because uh, I, I, I used a lot uh, before Prime Faces. And uh, I, I, I liked that Prime Faces uh, uh, not died and uh, was a converted, transformed NNG programming and can uh, work with. Uh, with React and many other framework. W what is my choice? <laughs> we will stick later. No, I, here I, uh, I, I, uh, this schema of uh, Web Store API. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's made by Jersey. So when you get a response request uh, request from uh, a front end uh, framework, uh, you have three filters: course filters, JWT security, and threat context. We can uh, mix all this information and uh, did the injection to uh, context injection here. It's context from IDMPA. It's really easy to have uh, in all co uh, context because you can. Uh, Transform any IDMP object. Now, authentication user, you, you, you get it by JWT, it's decoded, and you get uh, automatically uh, the name of the person who is connected. And uh, I, um, all this framework is stateless. It was a, a point very important for me uh, because this is a, in the case, uh, in stateless case, uh, you can have a charge uh, very important of many, many users at the same time. Uh, web Store services, uh, uh, services uh, you have seen. Web Store exception, you can define many exceptions to produce in, uh, in uh, REST API. And uh, you have to put Zwagger annotation to, to say to front-end developer what you do. And uh, we have passed to my choice. Uh, I did it all uh, with Angular. 
uh, Angular, it's the entire framework. Uh, we can uh, manage many, many things on front end, uh, like modules, components, templates, metadata, data binding, directive services, uh, dependency injection. And uh, just for, for pleasure, I, I checked uh, Bootstrap. I did it with Bootstrap. I, uh, I, co I know very well Ionic, but uh, I found it is uh, uh, to start with simple, uh, simple choice. Bootstrap is really easy, but uh, inconvenient uh, for Bootstrap. Bootstrap is made with uh, jQuery. Uh, so if you, you have to manage events uh, uh, between Angular and Bootstrap, I added uh, the third uh, framework, NGX Bootstrap. Uh, so all events uh, treated by Bootstrap uh, passed by NGX Bootstrap. And uh, here I put web store front end uh, application. Uh, we have uh, in the root uh, application, root uh, image, many things, and Bootstrap and GX Bootstrap. After I created Model Core, uh, where you can put uh, head or foot, uh, uh, intercepts, and notification, guards. Guards is a many, it's a, a TypeScript class. You, you can define the where uh, you, you can uh, guard uh, uh, many things. It's very interesting. Donc, so uh, I use uh, two services. It's like uh, on a web store uh, side. Uh, models in terms of uh, Angular, uh, I, uh, this, is, um, this is a page or multiple pages. Uh, why? Uh, because uh, it's interesting to say, I used many pages uh, with account and checkout. So when you click to account, at this time, you are loading uh, many, many pages uh, uh, linked to account. The same is with checkout. I will demonstrate later. In uh, Ionic framework, uh, they call it uh, uh, pages, simply pages. But I think it's... Uh, uh, more correct to say modules. Uh, and so uh, another, comp another directory is shared uh, components and models, models that you uh, have seen uh, with uh, web store, uh, with Zwagger, it's the same uh, models. You can get it here. Uh, validators to check all data you put to application. And pipes, uh, this is uh, terms to, to say uh, convert, uh, convert. Uh, uh, for example, I need to convert um, currency, uh, uh, time format, uh, and uh, many things. Uh, I will pass to to F store application. So I created uh, this new application with uh, Angular. You can hear, you can uh, see here. Or uh, the API call for categories for Garden World. Uh, not many information here. You can uh, call uh, search, uh, for example, grass. Uh, in this moment, uh, I, I charge uh, all the module account. And you get uh, all information by account. It's lazy loading. You can change the password, uh, many things. <coughs> With validator. For example, mandatory. You can add uh, addresses. I put here two addresses to check. You can modify addresses. Uh, You can see all orders. It was in the same manner like a web store. I don't translate it. <laughs> we can now load PDF. Okay. 
it's here. And uh, the most important thing, you can uh, pass uh, the order. For example, uh, we will create a, uh, we will create uh, an order for foot bamboo rig. All this calculation is made uh, by uh, front end side, but in, in, in the same time, I synchronize it with uh, to check prices with a web store, with API. You can pass, uh, this is the module checkout. You can validate uh, address, bill, uh, it's uh, not very, address, the shipper. And uh, the order is created and uh, I can pay by check, it's made. Sorry, so I get a uh, short question. So this one is an external commerce site, right? Yes, and yes. can log in and purchase things. Yes. The other question I have, the, 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 these front-end tools that you showed before, like this Angular and all that, are they calling on these REST APIs that you defined earlier? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. I started by the API and after I created this application. Okay. okay. So I will put it uh, to the community, uh, I think, in, uh, in two months. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's free. This one or front end? Yes. So, uh, no, no, no. Ah, no, API. No, API. So, one of the things that I would love to have <laughs> the ability to do is so you, cre you created a plugin that contains all of that, correct? Yes. And in that same plugin, you also created your beans. Uh, yes. It's a very good question. <laughs> I tried to to find out uh, this uh, thing with uh, uh, they say in a Jackson uh, transformation. You have to use uh, uh, mixins, mixins, but it it doesn't work. It's uh, really complicated to do it. But it's a good question. How you can uh, transform uh, a, a persistence object uh, to JSON? Uh, but uh, I have to time. I have uh, to time to take to to do it. It's complicated. It's the first question I uh, I try to to resolve. It's complicated. Maybe with Carlos we can discuss. <laughs> yeah, workshop next week. Right. We will be talking about that in our conference. So we already have that problem solved uh, between the persistent objects of Iron here and the JSON objects that you are using. Here. Yes, yes. So you might be using uh, our code later on for that. Mm -hmm. It uh, will come maybe. I don't know. I tried, but it doesn't work. Yeah, no, it's, it's not easy. It's, mm -hmm. it's not easy. Because the, the good approach is JSON mixins. You can uh, put uh, the fields you, you need, you don't need a pure person instance because it's very, very big object pure and after you use uh, IX uh, user and the third uh, M user, but uh, for Jackson data band it's very complicated to pass uh, always uh, many, many errors. Performance yes, yes, you, you are. Uh, yes, I use uh, cache uh, for because uh, we we work here in the stateless configuration. Uh, so when you pass a, a, a JSON token, in each uh, call you have to 
to get user. So surely I, I put user to, to cash to make it easy for each call to, to get it. On production, for me, a web store is not. A, it's a web store. Um, it's not web store in. A, it's generic world. You can do many many applications with it. You can use it uh, like a B two B site, B two C site. You can use it like application internal to manage uh, lorries and drivers and many many commercials warehouse. So it's uh, very important to cache information. Uh, in one project I did it, uh, here uh, uh, WebStore front-end application is managed by Node.js. In Node.js you can call these services by Node.js server uh, to get it to front-end application. And uh, in this uh, case, in, in Node.js services you can push to JS cache. It uh, works very fine. If you want to see an application write with Ionic, uh, with, with, uh, on the uh, backend is Node.js, Angular, and Ionic, using IDMPR, you can go on edodis.com. We have an application, uh, complete application, commercial application to, with, uh, with this architecture. Wait, look, I used uh, this uh, principle of REST API but front-end application is made by Ionic, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and it works very, very fine. And yes, I, I, I forgot to, to say uh, one thing very important. This uh, application is... Uh, web responsive. All pages are responsive. So it works uh, very fine in tablets and in, uh, in the phones.